Hi, Nana here. This video is for uh, creating a job. When one of our student is not able to create the job properly, I know there are no sure you. And then uh, uh, in this place, what happens? Uh, they uh, people have the habit of what happens? Uh, going via this. Find whether if you want to go to the manage jobs, what they do is you go there, drop it down, and then yet you go to uh, the HRMS one now, workforce de development. In the workforce development, what happens? You go to the workforce structures now. Fine. Uh, you go to the workforce structures, and then now job is not coming. You write manage jobs, manage job, and then enter it now. So then it will be coming and choose the job and then again choose the manage job. Okay. This much of activity is not required actually. Okay. Uh, I have told them many people that what happens you need to go via this route. Okay. This is a very cumbersome route now. I click on that. Let you, you click on the uh, uh, task account and then click on search now. And then here itself you can write directly. Okay. Manage personal job personal. Okay. It becomes easy. Okay. So here what happens? I recently created a job, job 209, and then click on search, it's now coming now. <clears throat> and I'm able to even associate the position also. Uh, the thing is what is now going for approval actually, and I will not show you but where exactly to set up the approval. Fine. Manage percentage. Approval percentage. Fine. Click on it. So the HCM team has now made it for approvals actually. So manage approval transactions for human capital management is the one. <clears throat> so you click on it now. So once when you click on it, and then here. <clears throat> you open up the task now. In the task left hand side, you can see the approvals actually. You can see approval rules now. If I click on the approval rules. So they have added the add contact. They might have added something. If you go there and then click on the configure rules, what happens that they might have made something. It is not there actually. I will now go and see the composition, whether they have made anything or not. Then go there. <clears throat> uh, if the rule is there, it will not show you the rule. This is the rule that they have done. So this you have to learn from the HCM team now. So if you have made a rule, then what happens? It will be going to the appropriate person for the approval, and then only what happens? It gets enabled. So now here, what happens? How to bypass that approval? <clears throat> if you want to remove the add contingent worker approval, so there is a bypass, and then if you click on this uh, tick mark, fine, there is no grayed out. If you click on it, what happens? It will not get enabled. That's it. Fine. That's so simple actually. So here, what happens? You go down, and then here in the bottom, what happens? You go and then see in the job level, my create job was not enabled actually. So I have only put a tick mark now. I put a tick mark now, it has become green, blue now. And then click on done, now it is bypassed. If I click on done, it is bypassed. So in preference, what happens, you should not bypass anything because if HCM is installed, what happens is they will be having lots of approvals on other things. And then they were, they are supposed to only do this now. So I have now bypassed this uh, job. Now it's working actually. So this is the way you have to bypass the approvals. In the test cases, what happens, you can bypass anything, but what happens, don't do the bypassing in the real instance and then allow the HCM team to do the way you had to bypass, and then now it's working. One second, I will now see. Uh, uh, okay, now he's saying that he's able to create it now. Fine, what else? Uh, it's not a magic find, it's a very simple one. <laughs> so, thank you. And then, what happens if you have any issues, you please refer to me. I may even be able to share some of the instant Thank you. Fine, bye for now. And then, we will see you in the next one.